Uh, welcome back, guys. Many of us are going to be watching the Academy Awards on Sunday just for the fashion. So we're going to look back at some of the greatest fashion moments from the red carpet and show you how you can get the looks for less. Join us now as style and beauty editor Jennifer Chan. Jennifer, good to see you. Thank you for having me. You're like an Oscar ready, I'm right? I'm ready for the red carpet. <laughs> well, I love this. We're going to do an Oscar Hall of Fame. How's it going to work? Okay, so we created our own Access Hall of Fame with the best Oscar gowns of all time. Now, these are the big red carpet fashion moments that have stood the test of time and have set the trends. And as a bonus today, we even have affordable dupes of some of our favorite gowns. So if you're watching at home, you can recreate that red carpet look on a budget. First of all, I love a dupe. And I love a bargain. So here we go. At number 10, start us off none other than Barbara Streisand, guys, the 1969 Oscars. So Barbara Streisand stepped out in this shimmering, sheer look designed by Arnold Scossi, and it's actually two pieces. Oh. So think about it. It was actually a pair of trousers, some really exaggerated bell bottoms that had a bunch of godets that flare from the knee and go all the way down. It gave the appearance of a trumpet-shaped silhouette as if she was wearing a skirt, but they're actually a pair of pants. The entire look was so cutting edge for the time, and Babs was the first woman to wear a pair of pants at the Oscars. So of course, she's on our Hall of Fame. She's, and I love that hair, the bangs with the poof. So good. All right, that was number 10 at number nine, guys. Jennifer Lawrence at the 2011 Oscars. Beautiful in this red, so stunning and sexy. So Jennifer Lawrence was nominated for her first Oscar this year, and she wore a beautiful, a custom created Calvin Klein dress. It was sexy, it was alluring. She looked like a total knockout, and that's because it just skimmed her body, and it was like when a little bit less is so much more. We have brought a look alike here. What did you call it at the beginning? A, a dupe. A dupe. <laughs> Show us the dupe. All right, so this dupe is amazing. This is from lulus.com. It's only $89, and it looks just like Jennifer's dress because it has that rounded neckline. It skims the body just so. It's alluring, it's sexy, it's never gonna go out of style. This one's a hit for under $100. And I love that color red. That yeah. is your accessory. Well done. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Okay, guys, at number eight, it's got to be Cher at the 1988 Oscars in this incredible look. Well, we can't have a Hall of Fame without including Cher. Now, this was a Bob Mackie design. It's sheer. It's shimmering. It's such a standout look. And we can see that this look kind of says it all. There's not much to the left to the imagination. We can see her midriff. We can see her legs. We can see pretty much everything except a little sparkle where it's strategically placed. But, of course, this look is so iconic, we had to include Cher. Number seven, guys, Charlize Theron at the 2004 Oscars. She always gets it right, and she'll take a risk. I love kind of the middleness look here as well. That's right. So Charlize Theron exuded modern, old Hollywood glam. It was so beautiful. And this was a glittering Gucci gown. So at the time, Tom Ford was the creative director of Gucci. And there's nothing more iconic than Tom Ford and Gucci. And Charlize Theron nailed it with this look. She just looked like the classic movie star. And she looked amazing from head to toe. I remember the red carpet we all gasped. And she just looked so tan and like <laughs> Glowing like the statue. Great. <laughs> right. Okay, we have a dupe of Charlize's looks. Yeah, so we got that same look as Charlize from Nordstrom. This gown is glittering from head to toe. It has the same spaghetti straps, that plunging neckline, and a leg bearing slit. This one's only $139 wow. from Nordstrom. So you're ready to go in this dress. Get your Charlize on with that <laughs> right there. Incredible. That's right. All right, coming in at number six is Grace Kelly. We are going to go back to 1955. I will say that Grace Kelly walked so that Meghan Markle can run. And what I mean by that is that she was a movie star that turned into a real life princess when she married the Prince of Monaco. Yes. But before that, she won an Oscar and she wore a champagne blue silk gown and it was designed by legendary costume designer Edith Head. Now the fabric of this one was actually estimated to be about $4,000, wow. which was a lot of money, the most expensive gown of Oscars history at the time. So okay. elegant. All right, guys, we're down to number five coming in at number five Hillary Swank at the 2005 Oscars I just remember how great her back was give me back right yes there. so Hillary Hillary Swank shut down the red carpet in this Guy LaRoche inky midnight navy gown it was business in the front party in the back and it's because she was all covered up but when she turned around
around, it was open and it showed off all of that hard earned oh, work. That muscle. All that muscle from training for Million Dollar Baby, which is the movie that she won Best Actress for that year. Great news, we have a dupe. Give us the Hillary dupe. Yes, so this is the affordable version of Hillary Swank's gown. This is from Club London. Same idea, covered up in the front, that same inky midnight blue color, and then turned around, it's actually completely open. Just like Hillary's gown, this one's only $72 from Club London. So I love this dress. It's gonna look great all year round and for years to come. Okay guys, number four, oh, Halle Berry. <laughs> At the 2002 Oscars, it was another one of those moments where literally gas went out on the red carpet. I love the way it hits her on her hip and that sheer and border, embroidered was just beautiful. Oh, you're so right. Fashion history was made when Halle Berry hit the red carpet this year. So this was an Ellie Saab design and she honestly put that designer on the map. We hadn't even heard of Ellie Saab until Halle Berry stepped out in this look. And this was the year that Halle Berry won Best Actress. She was the first black woman to win Best Actress ever. So the entire look and the whole moment was iconic and legend legendary. So pretty. All right, guys, we're down to number three. Three, what do you think at home? It's gonna go to Michelle Williams for the 2006 Oscars in that beautiful <laughs> canary yellow. Yes, you're right. This is my personal favorite. I remember when Michelle stepped out in this Vera Wang dress. It's like this saffron yellow, and it's honestly a hard color to pull yes. off, but Michelle did it right, and it looked so beautiful against the red carpet, that contrast of jewel tones together. And of course, her perfect accessory was that crimson red lip. So she looked so good. This Vera Wang dress had frills, it had drapery. It was stunning from head to toe. One of my favorite looks that color can't beat it we've got a dupe of the yellow let's see it yeah so this dupe is also from lulu's and it's a wrap dress so this you can tell you can wear it from day to night it's super flattering because it has that wrap tie you can customize the fit it's only 69 dollars from lulu's.com great price by the way that's not canary yellow like i said what color did you call that what saffron saffron <laughs> excuse me that is not canary coming in at number two guys america's sweetheart julia roberts oh i remember the black and white. Yes. What can you tell us? Do you remember this? Julia Roberts in 2001, she wore this column gown. It's an archive from Valentino. So oh, yeah. 1992 archive, a vintage gown, and it has that long lean look thanks to that white stripe all the way down the center, creating that Y effect, which was really popular in the early 2000s. And then in the back, there were actually more white satin stripes for a little added interest. So she won this award for Erin Brockovich. You remember, it was such a good look, and you can't go wrong with black and white statue. Are you guys ready? It's time for number one. Who's it gonna be? Angelina Jolie at the 2012 Oscars with that leg and Brad is her accessory. You're right. So in 2012, Angelina Jolie hit the red carpet and I think our jaws hit the carpet too because this look was so iconic. We are still talking about it. This was Atelier Versace and it had a structural strapless neckline and it's asymmetrical bodice. There were diamond clips, but let's be honest, we're only looking at that thigh high slit because Angie posed all night long with her leg out and it, it launched a million memes after we <laughs> saw that look. It was so chic and just, Angie's just the most iconic Hollywood actress, so she nailed it. Well, we've got to do, please let the mannequin have its leg out. I don't know if it's going to. It's <laughs> That's right, we had to get that leg popped out. This is a dress from Boohoo. Same idea as Angelina's dress, asymmetrical neckline, that leg bearing so lit. Pretty. And this one, only $20, Kit. <laughs> yep. Are you serious? Only 20 bucks from Boohoo, such a steal. Are you looking at how pretty that is too? I love the top of that dress, yeah. how it lays over. Exactly, the detail is amazing and such a steal. I will be buying that. Guys, let's hear it for Jennifer. Great job. I love a countdown. Thank Happy you. Oscars week. For more style tips, follow Jennifer Chan on Instagram. Coming up, I just went.